I've heard that the new manager has a lot of experience. Yes, his name is Ali. He should be here soon. I am Ali, the new manager. Hello, Mr. Ali. Welcome to Edisala. I'm Omar. I've been in the company for a while now and can help you if you have any questions. Thank you, Omar. That's very kind of you. Companies always fuss about printing all these flyers, manuals, and stuff. I'll have a coffee first and then start on some real work. Agility, your flexibility never ceases to amaze me. Good job, my friends. We make a great team. This new employee doesn't seem to be very interested in us. An Atisalat employee who doesn't know our values will find it difficult to succeed in putting customers at the center of everything we do. I don't think he's uninterested. Perhaps he has gained a lot of business experience throughout his career, which makes him think he doesn't really need us. We must help him. Let's enter his mind and influence his behaviors. Enter his mind? Yes. Let's get to work! I think we've reached the main control room, guys. Hooray! We made it! Who are you? Mayday! Mayday! Strangers have entered the control room! Don't leave the controls. Ali will lose his balance and fall. Get back to them and we will tell you who we are. Okay, I need some time to go through all of this and... Mr. Ali? Mr. Ali? Are you alright? Here, have some water. I'm fine now. I don't know what got over me. Let's continue. Don't worry. We're here to help you. We're the values that Ali must have and use to be successful in Atisalat. I am collaboration, and I am all about teamwork, breaking down department barriers, and adapting to different ways of working to achieve common and shared goals. I am empowerment, and self-confidence and self-enablement are my speciality. I'm all about taking ownership and accountability. Customer centricity. It's all about putting the customer at the center of everything we do, internally and externally. Agility. I'm all about flexibility, responding quickly and adapting to different situations in an agile way. But why am I only meeting you guys now? I've been doing all of this on my own for years. And honestly, I think I've done a pretty good job so far. To be honest, Ollie's success in the past is no indicator to his success at Atisalat. The aim of our values is to guide and align employee behavior so we can achieve our vision. And this document details the workflow of our department during the past three months. As I can see from the report, there's a lot of work to be done here. A lot of work to be done indeed. Good morning, my dear coffee. What is this amazing aroma? It's called coffee. It really is amazing. Well, my friend, now that you've had some, what do we have lined up for today? Well, I'm writing the agenda for this morning's meeting. We only have one major point to discuss, but I can't decide who should handle the project. Ali, of course. He'll be the fastest one to respond and the most flexible to make decisions. Okay, that sounds right. I beg to differ. The biggest pitfall managers fall into is taking on the responsibilities themselves. His role as a manager is to delegate tasks and to unveil the potential and other talents of his subordinates. That's a good point. Okay then, I'll assign it to Omar. You know that Ali only started on the job yesterday. He needs to show that he's capable of completing this project even before its due date. If he handles it, he will. On the contrary, what you're saying actually supports my point. The project succeeds because of the efforts of the whole team. Ali will be known for his good leadership and guidance skills. This is very important for him. Agility, I know that you're very flexible and capable of handling any situation, but if Ali empowers his team, they will collaborate to get the task done in a shorter span of time and with higher quality and accuracy. I think this is absolutely right. This approach will actually achieve Agility's goals too. We've just been assigned the task of launching 40 new networks in East Dubai within six months. The budget for this project is 200,000 dirhams. Omar, I think you're the best man for this job. I've seen your track record, and I believe you have the qualifications we need. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Mr. Ali. 
I will do my very best. I want you both to work on an action plan for execution based on the feedback received from the customers and show it to me within 48 hours. We need to commence as soon as possible. This is the full plan Zainab and I did for the new 40 sites. Why are there only seven sites here? Why are there only seven sites in this area? Revenues from this area are pretty low, so we decided not to invest too much in it. Everything we do here aims to reach customer satisfaction, regardless of who the customer is. This is unacceptable. The quality of the services we offer has nothing to do with revenues. We must treat all customers equally and always base our plan on their feedback. I was planning to create a short service number that customers can use for feedback and complaints, but I decided against it. I don't see how customer feedback will affect the implementation of this plan. This is so wrong. Every single plan we make should be customer-centric. You getting so worked up won't help anybody. I think the best course of action is to reject this plan and start amending it. Okay, our main priority is to satisfy our customers, which is why we need to provide better coverage in this area. We also need an effective communication channel for customer feedback and complaints. Let's make it a mission to give them a good and reliable service. The commercial department asked to see the plan, so we need to present it to them fully before execution. Why is this any of the commercial department's concern? We don't want other departments to interfere in our work. This guy needs some serious training and development courses. He has to. Yes, he needs to learn that customers are not only external, internal customers are just as important. Showing them the full plan will allow them to put together their own time plan accurately. We must think of our colleagues as internal customers, and the level of service we give them must be just as good as the one we give to external customers. Zena, you need to coordinate this plan's execution with the administrator. Give him all the support he needs. Mr. Alley, I think it would be best if you assign me tasks that I can complete on my own. I work better alone, and I'm more productive that way. I think Zainab needs an urgent intervention from you, my friend. Please accept my apologies, Mr. Ali, but I will not be able to attend the meeting with Omar. I mentioned to you before that I'm more productive and efficient when I work on my own. But Zainab, we need to work together as a team. We complement one another and we have to collaborate if we're going to achieve our goals. As I said, Mr. Ali, this is the only way I achieve results that I personally find satisfactory. Agility, I think you're right. We must go to her. You must go to her, not we. We're not going to let him go alone, are we? Of course not. We'll leave Ali in your care, my friend. Quick, if they hang up, we won't be able to make it. Woohoo! Woohoo! I knew you guys wouldn't leave me. Zainab, these are my friends. Agility, customer centricity, and empowerment. It's lovely to meet you all. The pleasure, pleasure is last. all ours. Allow me to simply observe today. I want to see how the two of you will work to ensure the proper and accurate execution of this project. I still think it would be best if each of us works separately and we get together for checkpoints. But this goes against Mr. Ali's instructions. We need to collaborate to adjust the functions of this brain. We must find the collaboration button. I found it. Finally! Okay, I agree with you. Perhaps it would be better if we worked together on this step by step. How dare you use my controls without my permission? I'm the only one allowed to push buttons here. Oh my goodness. I knocked down Zainab's agenda and now all her meetings and appointments will be jumbled up. Help me put everything back where it belongs, please. Oh, thank you so much for helping. We just avoided a disaster. I understand now that collaboration helps complete tasks faster. I think the collaboration button will be my favorite from now on. Great, let's start quickly before you change your mind. Together, we've succeeded in endorsing the value of collaboration in Zainab. We need to continue our journey with another employee who needs our help. Thank you all so much. Let's go, guys. Okay, we'll be right there. What happened? That was Ali. He says there's a big problem with the project. Let's go then. Can I come with you guys? Sure. Okay then. Let's go. I think we should bring miniature Omar too. We have confirmed information that some of our sites will not be operational in time. They are in remote areas that won't be supplied with electricity for another six months. 
And when is our final delivery date? In two weeks. But this isn't our problem. We can't be held accountable for things that are beyond our control. No, Zainab. Our role is not to evade responsibility, but to complete this project in any way that we possibly can. We just need to get creative here. I think we can use solar panels to power the sites. We've never done anything like this before. This is the kind of agility we need right now. We need to be creative and flexible enough to find alternative solutions that will allow us to meet our deadline and satisfy our customers. Amending the plan and getting the necessary approvals will take too much time. I'm sure if we collaborate with the right people in the organization, we can speed up the approval processes. We promised our customers to extend our services in a specific time frame, and we need to do the impossible to stay true to that promise. I think using the solar panels is an excellent idea. Let's accept this challenge and let's win it! Completing this project in time was no easy challenge. It is with great pride that I announce that we have successfully extended the reach of our services to unprecedented remote areas. For this, I thank my colleagues Omar and Zainab for their superb efforts and teamwork. <laughs>